Hi everybody and welcome back on another great daily music tip. I am Giovanni Perin and today I would like to share with you some of my thoughts on bebop playing. I was practicing this Charlie Parker lick and I thought it might be interesting for you to understand how to create patterns that make sense when playing jazz phrasings in your solo. First of all, it is important to notice that this lick is based on two concepts. The first one is that it is based on chord tone solos, and if you don't know anything about chord tone solos, I did some lessons where I talk about it. And of course, the second thing is that there are some chromatic approaches. The chromatic approach is a device that is really useful when playing bebop lines, but in general, if you want to embellish your melody, it doesn't matter if you are playing bebop, you can also play it on a pop tune. It works basically like this. You have a target tone and you can approach it from above or from below. And it can also be a double chromatic approach or it can also be, of course, the tonic approach. And usually it is really commonly used on the notes of the arpeggio. But before going on with the lesson, I would like to remember you that if you like to support the channel, you may want to buy some of my music, my books, or even book a private lesson with me if you want to get deeper into the material. This leak is based on a 2 5 one in F major, and it starts with the G minor 7. That is arpeggiated from the fifth down to the fifth. And then there's a chromatic approach that lands to the third of C7, passing through the major 7 and the minor 7 of G minor. Major 7, minor 7, and here we are on the third of C, and then again from here there's an arpeggio of C7-9. We start the arpeggio with the third, and we go back to the root, and then from here we go to the 7, and here our target tone is the A. So we do a double chromatic approach. And then from here again the same concept, 3, 5, 7, 9 of F major 7. That's the leak basically. So again, G minor, double chromatic approach to the third of C7, 9, arpeggio, to the tonic, 7th, and then double chromatic approach to the third of F major 7 with the ninth and then back to the fifth of F major 7. So remember that if you want to build some logical phrases that sounds like bebop lines, the chromatic approach or the diatonic approach, and we will see this concept in depth in the future daily music tip, are really important and of course it is important to play on the chordal structures, so playing on the arpeggios. Because if you touch the note of the arpeggio, the harmony is really clear. If you just go up and down the scale of F major, yes, of course, you are touching the right notes, but the harmony is not so defined. And one of the basic principles that is used in jazz improvisation is that you want to define the harmony so that even if you are playing alone, everything is really clear. I hope this lesson was helpful to understand a little bit more about the jazz phrasing and in particular bebop lines and how to build them. And we see each other tomorrow for another great daily music tip. But remember to subscribe to the channel, put a thumb up on the video, Follow me on Facebook and Instagram. And of course, if you like, leave a comment and let me know what you think 
about this lesson and if there's something that you want me to talk about in the future daily music tips. Thanks a lot and bye-bye.